log back in to channel 64 for the first time in about a week and you get greeted by minions and a duds hey everyone welcome back to another episode of channel 64 and we're back in the storage room we've we've done a lot since the, since the last episode uh, you now see we have item frames on the wall and these things are starting to get filled up some more than the others but i have moved everything from my starter house to here set up most of the sorters uh i don't have any crimson wood so yeah i, I just i just don't and i wasn't about to go get some <laughs> to make the sorter uh, yeah, so most of these are set up. Everything that's not set up is over here. So I've got all these custom heads from our wandering trader that obviously are not going to go in there. I have a lot of these things like eggs, armor stands. I know they can go in there, but every time I put them in there, it's broken the machine. So I need to look over the, the design again closely, maybe give Mazuma Games a call and see if I can figure out what's going on exactly. Yeah, and then I have dyes. Originally the plan was the dyes to go in the flower box. <laughs> I've used up most <laughs> of the flower double chest. I didn't realize there were so many flowers in the game. So I'm probably not gonna put dyes in the sorting machine. Dyes will probably go somewhere else, which is actually not a bad thing because I also have armor and tools and little things like this potions and stuff I, I don't know why i clicked that one again i think this was I, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter this is what we're gonna work on today so first thing is i want to do a little bit more work out here uh it's it's getting rough out here looking at this unfinished project you can see i've done some some building and stuff over here kind of get the foundations laid out uh, I've cut into this area, so this is how wide the walkway is going to be uh, th the entire path. So we have like four or five wide in uh, certain places. I think it's going to drop to three, like right here. So right now our pillars are only one wide. They're going to actually be two wide. Maybe I don't think it's going to be three wide. Three wide might be. I think it's going to be two wide. But like we're gonna have oh, i don't have any blocks in my inventory that can do this we'll use crafting table so we'll have like a block here and then sorry that tree looked like i had a mob up there so we'll have a block here and then we might have a block here so it will be three wide like this but there's gonna be like an archway that comes about right there so that's something i'm i've got to work around um yeah what i want to get done today is we can see this red netherrack that's the second floor <laughs> there was always supposed to be two floors here so what i want to do is build this kind of like originally i was going to have it just come angled down this is hard to do with the controller we'll use a mouse i was going to have it like angled down in 45 degree and make it kind of like the ceiling in there that's too much it's too messy it doesn't look very good so what i think i'm gonna do is you can kind of see over here where the netherrack is we're just gonna have this this rounded stone and grass uh pathway and then everything from this netherrack down will make a more pen uh more finished polished uh wall type and i think that's gonna look a lot better but i really want to go ahead and get the overhang in today so we're gonna work on that also we're gonna work on a place to store a lot of this leftover armor and stuff. I had an idea literally last night. We left this wall here for expansion. It's like, why don't I go ahead? I'm sorry, my dog's going nuts. Why don't we not just go ahead and break into here, expand this out and build an armory. So that kind of fits in the area. We can have an armory up there. It will also allow me to get my bed <laughs> out from right there. I have actually cleaned all that up. There are no more chests there. We're not just at a render range. No more chests. The only thing left is the bed. So we can get the bed out 
<laughs> we'll, we'll sleep kind of like in the armory. Maybe do like one of those automatic armor uh, replacers. So if I die, I can just run over and hit a button. I, I'm showing with my hands, but I should be showing my... You, you just walk over, hit a button, and then boop, 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 boop. It throws armor and stuff on top of me. And uh, that might be a good idea. But I want to get the overhang first. Uh, mainly because I really like to finish this wall. <laughs> And I kind of feel like I need the overhang before I can start designing this. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and grab some stone. We'll, we'll get a better layout. No detail, just kind of laid out what the look is going to be. And then we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we, we've got some stuff roughed in. Uh, let's hop down here. You can see our second floor is extremely roughed in. Matter of fact... Let's grab some rockets. This might kill me. Uh, nope, still good. We have grass up here. This is the way it's going to be. There will be grass and path blocks and stuff in the uh, second floor. I obviously haven't filled that in yet or anything like that. I, I just wanted to know where this path was. Obviously, we're probably going to have to pull this wall back. But we're not worried about that right now. We're, we're, we're worried about getting the overhang in, mainly so I can map out this bottom floor because this is where some of our bigger things, farms, stuff is going to go. As a matter of fact, I was working over here. I kind of wanted to get this archway figured out. And again, extremely rough, but this is what it's going to look like. And the three wide, I was worried about it being too tight. It's not too bad. Uh... I don't know how it's going to feel if I, like, do this. Oh, that that's a bad choice of block. Uh, give me a full block. Uh, it, it, it is a bit tighter when you do that. I mean, maybe I'll frame it so I don't have to worry about filling everything in. Maybe this will be a place where we can put... I don't know, like we like we just kind of did. We could go boom, boom, let's grab these up. We could do something like this where we have this and then this and then like we have armor stands or something right here. So that way it doesn't feel as bad. But for right now, let's, you know, we'll leave the bottom stairs. So we kind of remember what we were thinking of. But yeah, not that bad. Actually, it looks pretty good, even with just these pretty good i'm happy with the second floor right now that's the only way up <laughs> which is gonna definitely have to change sooner than, i'm taking my time on the hall the great hall is one of these projects that will not get done in one episode no matter how hard i grind and try because i'll just have to keep going back and changing things and changing things but where we're at right now is very good I'm liking it. I'm already to the point where I, you know, it's like, you know what? I can start mapping out rooms. Like, I'm going to have rooms in these corners. So you see, here's a big flat surface. There's probably going to be a room in a hallway over here. And look like, here, you could probably get, what, one, two, three, four, maybe, rooms on this way? Not to mention, we have an entire second story. We have, I don't know why I keep fat fingering my controller, but we also have this big walkway that needs to go somewhere. So we have, we have space to play around, which is awesome. Uh, I, just, I just need to know where I'm going to put things. And right now we're at a good spot for flexibility, which is what we wanted. I think what I'm going to do real quick though is choose like a section here's the best part about the reason i did it this way section section big section 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 so i've got five sections and instead of having to knock this all out and grind it at one time i can choose a section and kind of get it in place so i don't do what i did with the ceiling in the in the storage room where i just spent two hours grinding it all out and i make myself nauseous doing it i can actually kind of just piece work together because again I've got to use scaffolding work from down below and everything like that but yeah I know these have been two really long cuts so I'm just gonna texture a section and we'll come right back 
All right, guys, we got one section done. It looks it looks really good. I'm liking how it, it's flowing, it's working. There's some things I'm missing, like, thanks, thanks, Sue. She, she's gonna make a bunch of noise now that I'm recording, but like, I want more rooted dirt. I want some more hanging roots and all that stuff. I just don't have that yet. Uh, I'll work on getting some a little bit later so I know how many I exactly need. Uh, the bottom row, I haven't touched because I'm not sure how it's gonna, uh, work with the ceiling there we go <laughs> brain not functioning so yeah everything's pretty good except for the bottom layer which we'll figure out once we get some walls in once we get some sections done but yeah this went by a little bit quicker than i thought it was so what i'm gonna do is it's hockey night tonight i'm watching the game and in between commercials i'm kind of working on this so i'm gonna try to get a couple more done probably not the big section i probably won't get the big section done tonight but i'm gonna try to get these four uh smaller sections done and then we're probably gonna go ahead and move on to the armory. But yeah, let me knock that out real quick and we'll be right back. Oh man, guys, this, this makes me feel good. I, I, I'm really liking how these turned out. Yeah, obviously we don't have the big one done and we don't have anything on the walls down here. But when you, when you have something in your head, an image, and you start to put it in the game, like on paper, there's, there's not, there's not a better feeling <laughs> honestly i've done it a couple times with some comic craft bases even last year's uh ripple effect base which w was a tough one and now seeing this one start to take hold even though i changed it like i'm still getting the imagery across my head so that's awesome this this room's going in the right direction this is perfect but let's head upstairs because I've w I've gone ahead and dug out the hole for the armory and I had a little fun so our our, our track cuts through here uh, it obviously still works and stuff I've done a little thing uh, I didn't just yawn in the middle of a take <laughs> I did a little thing I don't know if I'm gonna keep that or not yeah we're working on it we're working on it but yeah so you're gonna walk in here and then we have this this whole thing going on now i wanted an odd shape there's no reason honestly for this to be right here like it, it's it's just stone but i wanted i want different shapes like when i came up with the design to have the bulk storage up here and the auto furnace down here there wasn't any real reason for that i could have put this flat and flat and put the auto furnace on this wall or something like that i i just wanted a tier design i wanted a split level room and i did that so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have this kind of like zigzag of a room um a cool thing is is it kind of hides the back side of the room off for anyone who just walks in the storage room uh, it allows me the ability to let's say I don't want to use this minecart track to put all my stone in, technically I could blah, 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 and have some way to make it come up here. So that's cool too. Uh, we have this empty space right here, which means I could hide redstone like our armor suit up can work in there. And then right behind this wall is actually the guts of the machine. And I kind of want to put a window or something over here because I like seeing if the machine is working or not or if it's done working right now there's no real way to tell when it's done I just I, I constantly am breaking that stair and then climbing underneath it and looking to see how close I am to being done by opening that chest and that's kind of a pain it'd be a lot nicer if I could tr pull a signal off of that chest so I know when it's empty, so I know when it's done, but I tried in creative world a couple times and I I can't think of a way to pull that out without breaking some other bit of redstone. So having a window where I can see that, hey, the minecart has stopped, it's no longer moving, I know the machine's done, that would be a good benefit. So what I need to do now is lay everything out. We also have all of our uh, shulker boxes of stuff we need to bring in here, figure out what exactly we need, where we want things to go, bring our bed up in here and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to figure out where I want stuff and then we'll talk design after. 
Okay, guys, we're back with some more planning. I actually did this. This turned out really well. I do. I want to rip all the stone out and put black concrete in place of it and maybe try to get rid of these torches and put in rods or something there and make it just look a little bit better. But yeah, I can actually see the minecart. So I know when this machine stops. I wanted to pull the redstone signal or whatever. Oh, wow, that looks weird. <laughs> the glass made other glass invisible. But I wanted to pull a redstone signal so I could have a little light in front that tells me when it's done. But this works just as well because it gives me a place to like AFK and then I can also come back and look and be like, okay, yeah, we're done here. Uh, over here, I was going to do the automatic armor deployer, but I don't like those like little boxes that have six dispensers in it and that's it to me that it's it's, it's the creativeness is not good so i was going to use an old one that used an arrow that shot an armor stand through a hopper hoppers now have new hitboxes so that doesn't work anymore <laughs> so we couldn't do that either uh i was coming up with ways to store stuff by the way we need to switch this out because these won't be chests uh, they might be shulker boxes later but for now I want to use barrels and I want to do it with like the stripes like that because I think that looks a lot a lot better so we're gonna have barrels there and then I'm gonna have like a helmet pants boots chest all hanging on hooks so it kind of looks like you're walking into an apparel store. Uh, I think that's going to work out pretty well. I was going to do this really long time lapse where you saw me work on each section going around. And honestly, with how long this week's been and how tired I am, I just kind of want to have some cozy Minecraft time. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and work this out. Not to mention we're late in the episode as it is. So I'm going to grind it. And uh, bring you guys back when I have some more. I think I might put a concrete maker back here too. Because that was really helpful at the beginner base. And obviously if I'm going to make this black concrete. I'm going to need a lot of black concrete. So yep. Yeah. I'm going to be back when we have something presentable. And more nifty to show you. Alright guys. We are done. Uh, this, this was longer than it should have been. But yeah. You see we, we've got our window. This is kind of a nothing wall and this kind of changed from an armory <laughs> to just another kind of storage area We've got this over here. I mean, we've got like buckets uh, I don't think anything's in a lot of these potions. I got a brewing stand up here. We got our dyes We got our heads. I don't think anything's in there our music discs Yeah, and uh, this this was pretty cool this is actually four armor stands, not two, because the things would constantly clip through the sides of the blocks and that drove me crazy. So I did this. It did not look as good over here because a lot of these items are like a block and a half tall or block and a quarter tall. So putting in an invisible item frames worked better there, but this section really does look good. I really like it. I've got just the backup tools and stuff in there. I want to have even put some. Yeah, if I got enchanting books that go to a certain piece of armor or tool, I'm throwing them in there. We've got our bed. It's just that same design that we went ahead and used in the Great Hall. Storage spots. I mean, this is doing everything I needed to do. I went ahead and even have done this. So like, let's see, we got 26. Oh, we throw that in there. It'll launch it up. And it'll end up back where it should be. This is one wall I couldn't do anything with because the sorting system and stuff. So I try to decorate it as best I can. I need to wax it because uh, it's going to start oxidizing here soon. We we have our concrete maker. I used a hopper minecart this time instead of a normal hopper because before I'd have items like fly out behind me. This doesn't let that happen. Like, this is not an issue. Whenever I uh, break the item, it immediately gets sucked up and it ends up in here, which is perfect. 
I'm really happy with the room. The ceiling is really the only thing I had in my head going forward. We've kept this dark oak mangrove wood beam that is kind of going to be throughout the base. This, this room really, really came out well. I'm happy with it. It definitely feels like it's, it's an extension of the storage room while at the same time being its own thing. I tried to bring in some of the colors. Oh, I don't know why that does that sometimes when I'm trying to do my C button. But yeah, we, we have this like turquoise color. So I try to bring in some of that with the prismarine and the warped woods right here without it being the dominant color. Yeah, I think it turned out really well. And there's our 26 cobble deep slate. Uh, this is the only part is if you look hard enough, you can see stuff like that. Uh, I could probably fix that, but I'm not really looking too hard. Yeah, this room, good brain fried video took way too long. A lot of real life stuff got in the way of me playing Minecraft for a couple days. But yeah, I think that's going to do it, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, hit the like. If you would like more, go ahead and subscribe. Until then. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Bye.